Vladimir Viktorovich Storage Henko, Russian. Cyrillic capital letter V, Cyrillic small letter L, Cyrillic small letter E, Cyrillic small letter T, Cyrillic small letter I, combining acute accent, Cyrillic small letter EM, Cyrillic small letter I, Cyrillic small letter ER, Cyrillic capital letter V, Cyrillic small letter I, combining acute accent, Cyrillic small letter K, Cyrillic small letter T, Cyrillic small letter O, Cyrillic small letter ER, Cyrillic small letter O, Cyrillic small letter V, Cyrillic small letter I, Cyrillic small letter J, Cyrillic capital letter S, Cyrillic small letter T, Cyrillic small letter O, Cyrillic small letter ER, Cyrillic small letter O, Cyrillic small letter E, Cyrillic small letter I, combining acute accent, Cyrillic small letter EN, Cyrillic small letter K, Cyrillic small letter O, 1953-1984, also known as the Smolen Sky Strangler, was a Soviet serial killer. Biography Storoj Henko graduated from 8th grade of the 16th Smolensk High School. As a difficult teenager, he was known to police, as he engaged in petty theft, also torturing and killing domestic animals. He also showed heightened sexual interest and cruelty towards girls. Storoj Henko was convicted twice, among his charges allegedly including rape. After his second release, he began work as a chauffeur at a car park. He married, and a son was born. Storozhenko had a reputation as an exemplary family man, and was characterized as a positive employee at work. Between 1978 and 1981, there were about 20 attacks on women and girls in Smolensk and its environs, 13 of which resulted in murder involving rape. He committed the first murder in the historic part of the city, not far from the Assumption Cathedral. Storozhenko was a not a strangler in the literal sense of the word, as he sadistically tortured and finished off victims in various ways. One of his victims of the murderer was a 12-year-old student of the 31st Smolensk Secondary School, whose body was found in a sand pit with signs of torture. Once, the killer attacked a woman who turned out to be a decoy, a law enforcement officer, but Storage Henko was then frightened off by one of the policemen in the ambush. During the fight, he left traces of blood, as a result of which the criminal's blood type was established. It is also noteworthy that Storage Henko himself was a police informant and participated in the searches for the strangler. Four innocent people were arrested for Storage Henko's crimes. The first was an employee of the prosecutor's office. And before his innocence was proven, he spent nine months in jail. After his release he had to resign from the prosecutor's office and leave the city. As an accomplice of the previous one, a traffic policeman was arrested. In the murder of a woman in the recreation area of the Smolensk aviation plant, the authorities accused a local guard who had previously been convicted of collaborationism during the Second World War, who, under the pressure of investigators, incriminated himself, and the final being a person caught for stealing, and under the threat of execution, was forced to confess to killing his wife and sentenced to nine years imprisonment. Storozhenko was arrested in 1981. The last victim of the maniac miraculously survived and remembered a tattoo on his chest, and then identified him from the presented photo. He was in question about his carpool travel sheets. Their data coincided with the time and place of crime. His blood type also coincided with the one that under the nails of the murdered women. Stores Hango's wife admitted that he had given her gold earrings that belonged to one of the victims. A gold ingot was found hidden in his apartment, under the bed on which lay the paralyzed mother of the maniac. The brother of the maniac, Sergei, admitted that he knew about what his brother was doing, and said that the ingot is the melted decoration of his victims. He then indicated where other things were hidden. In addition, during the search, a cache of pistols and explosives were found. Sergei confessed that he and his brother had planned a series of attacks on state-owned enterprises on the days when they would issue wages there. When the last victim of the maniac identified him a police lineup, Vladimir Storozhenko began to confess. During the course of the investigation, an experiment was conducted. 
Out of 30 female dummies, 13 had the clothes of the maniac's victims, in whose pockets were notes with the name of the victim, the time and place of the body's discovery. He managed to accurately indicate the clothing of his victims. The investigation into the Storage Henko case was conducted by the famous investigator Issa Kostoyev, who later led the Chikotilo case. In 1983, the court upheld the death sentence by firing squad for Storozhenko, after which he was executed the following year. Sergei Storozhenko was convicted of criminal conspiracy and sentenced to 15 years imprisonment. While serving his sentence, he unsuccessfully tried to escape, and another three years were added to his sentence. In the media documentary film from the series The Investigation Led, Loop documentary film from the series Legends of the Soviet Investigation. Devil's Puzzle. References. External links Smolensky Strangler Vladimir Storage Henko Issa Kostoyev. Russia is the Underworld. Angel and Leopard, from the practice of Issa Kostoyev.